Let's hear from Ben Jones discussing intrasite gel for wound closure. Okay. I'm going to do a demonstration on how to use intrasite gel and the wounds we need to use. So the wounds it should be used on are wounds that are very sloughy wounds that need a bit of debridement. Um, this is my patient here. So we're just going to clean the wound around it and then down away from it and then make sure it is as dry as it's going to get. It comes in the little tube. We have to make sure we have something to put on top of it after it as well. This is a non-adherent pad. This one is made of silver, but we have ones that are not silver. And then we have a dressing to go on top of it as well. So the inside gel, you just take the cap off. Don't touch the end of it, apart from to take this off, it snaps off. And we don't touch that end. And then you just press your thumb, and you're just filling the whole of the wound. So it's probably almost like the cavity to fill it all in. and it fills it up. And that will fully be absorbed by the wound um, into, don't touch it yet, don't touch it. You don't know there's no need to touch it. After it's in the wound, you just get your non-adhesive foam, either the silver one or the non-adhesive normal one, and you just stick that on top of it. It just provides an, an environment um, for the wound and that the pad will absorb the rest of any um, unnecessary fluid from the wound there. And then you can use a good pad either with a bandage or with just an adhesive sticky dressing, you just put it on top and leave it in place for sort of five to seven days. Don't need to come back to him on that unless the room gets dirty or wet.